In this video, we're going to be looking at adding fractions using tape diagrams. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So um, this is the first part of your homework. It is not in the notes. However, it is in the Zoom recording. Um, so when they introduce, they being fourth grade teachers, introduce uh, how to add fractions, they start with using tape diagrams. So like, for example, if I want to do one half plus one fourth. Okay, one half plus one fourth. All right. So what they do is, and in um, the homework, you'll see that the tape diagrams are side by side, like this. I actually find it easier to stack them on top of each other. So I'm going to go rogue here, and I'm going to do it that way for a second. The reason why I like stacking them um, up and down is that you can match the sizes a little bit easier. Okay, so what happens is that you are going to cut this one to represent a half. So cut it in half, shade. So this is one half. Okay. The second one we're going to cut in fourths. And I'm going to shade one fourth. Okay. So the idea here is that we can only compare or add like things. So that like means that I need to have the same denominator. Okay. So what they want students to do, um, Common Core students to do, is to experiment. And they'd say, okay, what happens if we cut each of these blocks in half? Right here, I'll just go straight. Are these now the same size blocks? And that's why I think stacking them vertically, you can see that yes, they are the same size blocks. So what that means is that one half is equivalent to two fourths. Awesome. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add them together. So when I add one half plus one fourth, it's really two fourths plus one fourth. Okay, now you think you're on the home stretch that students would just know that this is going to be three fourths, but there's a problem. And that problem is, is that most students are going to add four and four. Most fourth grade students are going to add four and four and they're going to write eight. So they're going to write three eighths and that's not right. Okay, it's three fourths. So what you may want to do is illustrate this by saying, okay, we've got one shape cut into fours. Let's shade all that we have. So we have two out of four. We have one out of four. So how many out of four do we have? Oh, okay, I have three out of four. All right, I'm gonna do one more example. I'm gonna pause while I clean this stuff up. I hope my uh, recording is is working out okay so far so again i'm going to do one more example so you guys can see it from start to finish all right we're back at it we're going to try one third plus two ninths so again i'm going to draw two tape diagrams stacked up and down i think this is a little bit easier to match them together okay and then this first one i'm going to cut it into thirds and this is going to represent one third Okay, and now this one I'm going to cut into ninths. Okay, all right. So uh, what, of course, I need to do is I need to shade two ninths. And I want to know how many ninths this is. Okay. So again, if you kind of match it up and down, you can see that I was really careful and that so it should be three. But what we would do is we would have students go, okay, if I cut these each in half, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that what I want? No. Okay. Let's cut each of those into equal thirds. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We did it. Okay, so this one third is the same thing as three ninths. Okay, 
So I want to do three ninths plus two ninths. Three ninths plus two ninths, that is five ninths, not five eighteenths. And again, you might want to have students go ahead and if you don't want to draw a new type tape diagram of nine, you could just say, okay, let's shade them all on one. So if I have two and then I have three more, then I can see this is five. Five ninths. All right, that's adding fractions using tape diagrams.